Today I'll be sharing with you two easy ways on how to remove noise in Adobe Edition. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a sound engineer in any way. I'll only be sharing with you how I personally get rid of unwanted background noise, hums, or blowing sound from a fan or an aircon nearby on your audio recordings. But before we start, just a short message from our sponsor. CDK Offers is offering a big, big sale this November. Grab up to 30% discount on Windows 10 license keys. Just simply use the exclusive discount code DUDE20 which will give you a bigger discount. Instead of the regular 20% discount, it will be a 30% discount for a limited time only. Starting this November 1st until November 30, 2021. Next, select your payment gateway. Once done paying, you should be able to immediately receive the key and be able to activate it generally via online activation on your Windows 10 installation. I'm recording this video right now while there's currently a generator running on the background playing on loudspeaker on my right side. I have here a sound level meter which gives us an idea on how loud that white noise is going on right now. The sound levels that my microphone would perceive given my distance with the speaker is about 67 to 72 decibels. Hopefully you can see it right here. Alright, now that we are on our desktop, let's now go ahead and go to our Adobe Edition. I have here already the audio file or the recording that we have just recorded a while ago loaded up on my Adobe Edition. Let's take a quick preview on the noise that was generated while we are recording a while ago. As you can hear right now on this particular part of this audio, you will notice that the generator playing on the background is quite audible and quite distracting at the same time. The first method is to capture the noise print. So we are going to select this particular part wherein we know that this is the part of the white noise that is going on the background which is particularly the generator. So go to the effects and click on the noise reduction or restoration and click on the capture noise print. You could also click shift plus P on your keyboard as a shortcut to open this particular effect. And you'll be shown that the current audio selection will be captured and loaded as the noise print for use the next time the noise print effect is launched. Simply hit the OK button. And then after we're done with that, we're now going to select the entire audio clip right now. And just simply click on the control shift P on your keyboard. Or you could also go to the effects, click on noise reduction or restoration and click on the noise reduction process and make sure that you have selected everything on the audio and the noise print that we've captured a while ago is currently now the loaded noise print on this particular noise reduction effect so we can now go ahead and tweak the noise reduction percentage right here it's best to set it to around 60 to 50 percent just to experiment which would work best for you and also reduce the reduce by decibels to 27.5 decibels don't max it out to 100 otherwise you might distort the audio you could increase or decrease the reduce by decibels as these particular settings are not universal for all of us depending on the noise that you have on your audio so it's best to experiment which particular threshold works best for you so right now we're going to set that one to 60 percent and also set this one to 27.5 as it is right now so we can click on the output noise only and click on this playback button right here so that we may be able to preview what is the currently captured noise on this particular audio file as you can hear right now, most of the noise that is being captured right now is the noise that is coming out from the generator. Next, we can now go to the advanced and make sure that the spectral decay rate is set to 0% and set the precision factor to 12, smoothing to 1 and set the transition width to 0 decibels. Once you're happy with the results, you can uncheck this output noise only and make sure that you have selected the entire file and hit the apply button. And notice that the noise on the audio file gets lowered down. Although if you play it back, you can still hear a subtle noise from the generator. To remove this further, we can go back to the effects and click on the noise reduction and click on the denoise feature right here. Again, like what we did a while ago, we need to play around with the settings right here such as the processing focus and also the noise reduction amount or denoise amount. And we could preview it by clicking on the output noise only and hit the play button right here. Right now, I think I could lower down the noise reduction amount or basically the denoise amount to around 20%. 
and I could not hear much of my voice being taken out on this particular audio. So I could now go ahead and uncheck this output noise only as I'm already happy with the captured noise on this particular effect. So once done, hit the apply button. You will now have a clean audio, which you can now increase the audio gain and worry no more on the audio or the noise going on in the background. I'm recording this video right now while there's currently a generator running on the background playing on loudspeaker on my right side. I'm recording this video right now while there's currently a generator running on the background playing on loudspeaker on my right side. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I managed to help you remove noise in Adobe Edition. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like and feel free to leave your comments on the comment section down below. And lastly, hit that subscribe button for more tech stuff in the future. Till then, happy editing.